Hello, it's me, French Ted, and we are here for a different video. We're not here for AEW, even though we are in the AEW save. Um, don't worry, there's no spoilers. Um, this is being recorded after the most recent episode that has come out, so no spoils, guys. It's all right. We're actually in Monday, week two, June. Um, I mean, if you haven't watched the AEW series, then... There might be some names you're looking here and being like, whoa, I didn't know that they're part of AEW, but either way, I'm rambling. We're here for a very specific reason. What we are doing today uh, is a question that I put on my community section of my channel probably too long ago. Just saying, hey, I've noticed a couple of people have asked about certain pictures that I've been using um, and other things like that. Um, so in today's video, I'm just going to show you how I make those pictures. I mean, of course, there's some really great ones that are already out there, but sometimes you want a specific picture or you want a worker to look a specific way based on an image that you've seen, etc. So I'm just going to show you how I make those pictures. Super simple, super easy. Um, and I'm not just saying that it genuinely is everything. Every tool that I use is free. I'll link everything in the description below in the order of you know using them and where to find them and stuff um but i do only ever make my pictures in the um super awesome picture pack super awesome something picture the samp i think it's called i'll show you it in a moment but for today's video i'll do two wrestlers i guess um we've got sky blue we need to update this picture um, i'm using a really old picture pack as well so there's none of her newer photos so i figured fuck it Let's make our own. Um, and let's just pick someone else that's here. Uh, bu 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 I'm just trying to think who we got. Probably should have known this ahead of time. Um, let's go. Hmm. I probably should have. Yeah. Um, who's got a pretty wanky picture? Uh, Darby Allen's I quite like. Let's go Don Callis. Why not? Because, um, yeah, he's still a face in my series and he still manages Kenny Omega. So, uh, yeah, let's do Don Callis. I'm sure he's got some new photos given his new persona in real life. So, yeah, Don Callis and Sky Blue are going to be the two that we need today. So I'm just going to cut the video here, um, jump into my web browser, and we'll just go through the steps that I go through. All right, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so here is my entire laptop screen. You guys can see everything. Keep the Marvel snap down here. I'm a cool kid. Um, but either way, this is essentially the, 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 well, the three things I use, but I just wanted to reference the picture pack that I use. Um, it's all available for free in the Grey Dog software. I'll link it in below. This, in my opinion, the best picture pack that anyone can use. It's clean, it's simple. Everyone is on the white border. Uh, the white background black border super clean images and very easy to duplicate your own versions uh, within the picture packs that you can get as um, jpeg or gif so if you get the gif versions you can have these like little borders thrown in on top of them i'm personally not a fan of that um i like the the full face uh, imagery so that's what we're going to be doing today but yeah in both of these picture packs are templates that you can use and that is what i use to build my pictures. I also had a quick look at the poll and it did talk about using AI to make the belts as well. So I will do that, but I think that will be a separate video, uh, just a heads up. So there'll be a part two to this, I guess, but this is solely fo focused on worker images. Uh, but yeah, it's all here. It gets updated, I'd say every month or so. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of pages, 31 page. We go to the last page. Um, the, just look out for, for this boy over here, Joe Murphy. He's the one that does them all. There you go. Here's a little update here. Some updates. So we've got a new uh, Nick Aldis. Um, it's a Kiyomiya. Ki Ki Kaito Kiyomiya, I think. Um, yeah. And then obviously some people make their own. Uh, but yeah. I've got a few posts where I've made my own as well. There's a Steph Delander someone's made. Um, but yeah. Let's close that and ignore it. These are the three tools that we use. Yes. Google Images is one of them. So we find the image on Google, we remove the background with a free tool that removes backgrounds, and then we dump it in here where I've already got the 
well there's the title one and there's the worker one uh, going i'll link all three of these but i won't link google images um but we are looking for sky blue and we'll go 2023 and um, we should probably put the e at the end of sky shouldn't we there we go um let's go size large so it's like you know the biggest cleanest image um, obviously we don't want any of these ones oh hello because uh, this is basic sky we want like new new sky uh, let's change the time frame then to past month there we go someone's already kind of rendered it a little bit for us as well which is even better so that could be the winner that's kind of cool uh, let's just stick with that keep it easy someone has already propped the background so this is something that we can just drag straight in so there's two ways you can do it you can either right click save the image but who's got time for that? What you can do is you just grab the image, drag it out to the tab here, drop, and it'll remove the background. Um, and then you just download, and then from the downloads, you can then drag and drop in here. Um, but because it's already rendered here, I don't wanna, just in case it's cut anything new off. Let's just jump over here, open up our projects. This is something that um, it comes in layers, so if I, unhide this it kind of has a little guideline of where you should put someone's face um but i already know that so i'm going to hide that there's the background there's the border um and we will just pick up the picture and drag it here so instead of create new we're going to add current so it adds a new layer uh, make sure that this is behind the border otherwise you can't see the border so you drag it there um, let's just close that um, and now this is where we just kind of have to clean it up a little. So we just drag it into frame. Um, we don't want our head to be that small, so let's... We don't want it to be that big either. So it's just a matter of lining it all up. Uh, we'll zoom in a bit. Um, I think we can go a little bit larger. Like that. Obviously it looks a little bit blurry because it is only meant to be 150 pixels by 150 pixels. Um, so if we go down to roughly around 100% there we go 100% that looks pretty clean uh, let's just whoop, center it a bit more actually I think we can go a little bit bigger we don't need the crown to necessarily cool I think that works another thing that I always do just to kind of clean it up a little bit is I just jump to the adjust uh, maybe hit the auto see what it does there you go it adds a little bit more life to it a little bit a little bit more deeper in the colors um, and then I always go down to the sharpen. I just go to about five, five or six, just because it just makes those edges a little bit crispier. And one tip for that I've learned on Pixlr, don't hit apply because I don't know why, but it distorts the image. Um, it's already made the changes. So don't hit apply, just leave it. And then we're just going to hit save. Quality, obviously we want 100%. Um, leave it at 150 by 150, save. That's all you got to do. And then here in the downloads, we can just call it uh, Sky Blue. And I don't know how many alts she has. Let's do Alt 20, just to be safe. So I'm going to save that. That's now in my downloads. Um, so if we jump over here, we can see it here. And here's the thumbnail for today's video. So we've got Sky Blue Alt 20. Let's go to People. So this is where the path file is. It's where I've saved it. So GDS. TW2020 pictures, find your picture folder and find the people folder. We can search in here for sky blue. So it says sky blue, alt and two and sky. So if anything, we can rename this sky blue alt three. There we go. And then we just copy because I like to keep copies of mine offline and then paste. And there it is. It is now in the picture pack. And what we'll do now is we're just going to quickly jump back to TEW um, and apply the picture. So I'll see you guys there in a sec. Okay, so we are back in TEW right where we left off with Don Callis. Um, we will jump in and do Don Callis afterwards because why not? Uh, let's just go Sky. Uh, so there's two ways you can do it. One way is through the database, um, which is the best way to do it before starting a save um, or if you're knee deep into a save and this is the only one you're kind of jumping in and the only time you're going to be changing their photo so for example sky blue isn't in either of my other series for me um, you can just change it here 
So easiest way to do that is you just click on their status. You've got this screen where you can kind of alter a few of their details. Click on a picture. There's no need to come out of TW and come back in. As long as this window is not open, it will have it. So we just type in sky and there's the sky blue alt three. There it is. Use this picture, save, uh, create an alter ego. That's if you've kind of changed, you know, any biography or their name. I normally just say no. Um, and there we go. Sky Blue now has her photo. So just to prove, let's go down and find her. Ba, 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 ba. Sky Blue. Boom. There we go. It's easy as that. Um, I will show you the other way. So let's just close out. Uh, go main menu. Sure you was to exit the game. Yes. Uh, give it a girl save. Uh, we go to editor. Let's make sure you're on the right database. You can tell I'm on an old database because it's April 2023 is uh, where we've been working from. Uh, we're going to go workers. It's not worker names, workers. Not worker relationships, workers. There we go. We're going to look for good old sky blue. There she is. Double click on that. Oh, it's already opened the picture. Obviously, you know, you can change a bunch of things if you haven't ever been into the database. I think you should always go in the database before going into a save. If anything, actually, my tip is start a save, look at everything to do with your company, anything you're not happy with or you think needs slightly altering, make a note of it, come in here, change it, start the game again. As in, like, delete the old save, start a new save. Uh, but yeah, if we want Sky Blue to permanently look like that now, you have to change it in the database. So that is now, once we save here, her default picture. So every time, uh, if she's hired by, you know, as you say here, she's best known for NWA. Say, for example, NWA hire her in your new save. This will be her default picture unless they've assigned a specific gimmick to her. Um, but yeah, we don't need to save that. And yeah, it's as simple as that. So I'm just going to run through it again. We'll do it with Don Callis, um, but we'll do it much quicker. And yeah, I mean, I told you it's easy. It says it in the in the thumbnail. Big bold writing, nice and easy. So yeah, let's jump back to good old Microsoft Edge. Fuck Google Chrome. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it one more time. Okay, and here we are exactly where we left off before. Just to show how seamless it is to rinse and repeat. Um, all you have to do is, this is already highlighted, just give it a click, delete. Hit the delete button on your keyboard. Um, or you can, you know, I'll go over here, right click, delete, whatever. Um, but yeah. Sky Blue is now gone. You don't have to close it, open a new file. You just edit the existing one. Um, we've got Sky Blue here as well. We can just refresh to sack her off. Um, and we'll go back here and we'll do a little bit of Don Callis. So Don Callis 2023. Again, I always think it's important to go large. Um, and now we just need to find one where he's kind of looking straight on. Don Callis might actually be a hard person for this. I mean, that's a pretty cool picture. Um, I think that's a candidate so far. Also, it'd be useful to have one that has a background too. Um, bum bum. Could do old Don Callis from back in the day. If you're struggling to find like the ones where you know that they're posing, I always find it's good if you just throw PNG afterwards. And look, there we go. There's a picture already that we could use, although that's a couple years old now. It always throws one of those or you can type in like photo shoot or something i mean here's another one but again i think that's a few years old i think we'll go back to the one that we just had before where was that this one why not he looks happy we'll use that it's kind of clear ish um but yeah so what we do click and drag all the way into here drop it in and it should hopefully do a nice clean cut which it has hit that download button uh, for the pro version, you can get HD, but to be fair, um, 1280 by 1280 is HD enough for what we're trying to do. Um, so we download that, pops over here with our downloads. Um, you can see a bunch of NWA thumbnails here, um, a bunch of other random stuff. There it is right there. Leave this open if you're an Edge user. If you're a Chrome user, you get that bar at the bottom. Leave it open because all you're going to do now is just drag it in, add current layer, make sure it's behind the border. You can close this now. And now we just start working on Mr. Callis, getting him in. So, I mean, that's kind of good. I mean, it, I always like to cut a little bit of the head off, get a bit of the chin in. We could probably go a little bit bigger. 
there we go that's centered quite nicely remember leaving this selected hit the adjust button scroll back to the top it'll auto enhance there's a little bit pink there um, so we can just lower it just a little bit I think that looks all right and then again sharpen just like five or six just to you know clean up that line a little and straight away to the save 100% because we want that quality to be max um, another thing to point out about Pixlr, uh, which is the tool we're using now, love it. It's so easy. If you've got Photoshop, feel free to Photoshop, uh, but Pixlr does everything you need for this. Um, I am currently using the Pro version. The only difference with that is unlimited downloads. I think outside of that, I think it's seven to 10 downloads a day or like a week. But if you're mass doing it, a Pixlr subscription makes sense. It's £1.99 a month. So even if you pay for one month, do a ridiculous amount of these pictures that you want to do um, and then cancel it. That's $1.99, you know, for some people, you know, that's nothing. Uh, but yeah, save as, um, and we'll just save this as Don Callis. We're just going to call it Alt for now, just following the naming convention. We'll find out how many Don Callis's there are now. Um, if we just go Don where is he? Don Crocodile, Don Callis. So there's just two. So this will be Don Callis Alt 2. Let's jump back to here. We can delete that one. Don Callis Alt 2. And then once again, I like to keep copies of them all. But we're just going to Control V. And there he is. We don't need to wait for that to tick. That's just the OneDrive creating a, a backup. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump straight into TEW like that whoa seamless transition maybe i don't know um and we'll just work backwards so we're going to go into the database first we've got good old don callus here let's don callus it up alt 2 there's the picture we just did use again it's not the cleanest one because we didn't spend too long looking for a picture so you can see it's grainy as fuck um but that's because there's so much detail in this image um it's it just looks a bit weird when it's squashed down so sometimes like the 4k quality version of images isn't always the best you want a nice clean simple image either way we'll rock with it so let's save that um let's now go to load game open up our youtube save head straight for the roster don callis open that bad boy up it hopefully will look a little bit better when it's bigger um use the picture save no and there we go, not too bad. I think that works all right. We've now got a new Don Callis picture. And that's all there is to it. Super easy, um, you know, the steps are there. If you get confused or you need any help, just drop a message in the comments. Um, but one of my favorite things to do has been creating new images, especially with the NWA save. I think 90% of my workers have an image created by me just because you know, the smaller the wrestler, the less common their images are, you know, updated. Because um, obviously WWE guys, as soon as they get a new gimmick, there's a new image like that. Um, so I, I have a really fun time just sourcing images, being like, yeah, that's what they look like now. Or yeah, that's how I want them to be perceived. Um, I think images are really important, especially when you're recording on YouTube and, you know, telling a story. You don't want to use a crappy image of someone because it, it devalues them. Uh, but either way, that's it, I guess. That's how that's how I do it. So, yeah, all of the links will be down below if you've got any queries or is there, if there's anything else you want to see about how I do things, just drop it below. Um, if there's enough buzz around a certain question or a collection of questions that are similar, I'm happy to do another video. Uh, but either way, I think that's it from me. I think this is coming out New Year's Eve, so... Happy New Year to anyone watching this on New Year's Eve and probably New Year's Day. Um, but until then, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.